Good afternoon and welcome to the 2012 Healthy Cup celebration. Uh, my name is Julio Frank and I have the distinct honor of being the Dean of the Harvard School of Public Health. And we're really absolutely delighted to see this full house here today. Uh, it's very, very hard to fill this auditorium and uh, it's, it's fantastic to see that you're all here. Uh, this is our, first, our, our fourth uh, Healthy Cup Award ceremony. As you know, every two years, uh, Harvard School of Public Health presents this award to someone who has made dramatic contributions to public health and especially to improving uh, nutrition throughout the world. Jamie Oliver, who will receive uh, this year's award, <coughs> has literally changed the way millions of people think about the importance of healthy eating and healthy cooking. He has been and continues to be tremendously influential in the battle against childhood, childhood obesity, which, as you all know, um, is of critical importance uh, to the world's present and indeed to the world's future. Um, but before uh, we tell you more uh, about Jamie, I'd like to tell you and to show you some of the significant contributions to the field of nutrition that our school has made and continues to make. The school has been working to improve people's lives through better nutrition for the last 100 years. Our scientific research has had an enormous impact on the lives of people everywhere. So uh, let me now tell you briefly about the history of the uh, Healthy Cup Award, which is a very prestigious honor bestowed uh, by our Nutrition Roundtable. The Nutrition Roundtable, a group of leaders from business, medicine, public health, and the food world who care deeply about prevention and food, came together in 1998 to support the faculty, students, and research at the school's Department of Nutrition. Their mission, like the schools, is to help bridge the gap between scientific insight and real sustainable changes in the world. Uh, Chairman Edwin Taff and many of the Nutrition Roundtable members are here with us today. And uh, uh, let's all give them a round of applause for the many, many contributions to this school. Uh, if you'd like to get involved in the Nutrition Roundtable, just look for a member. They are all wearing red ribbons on their name tags, and I know they'll be all happy to tell you a little bit more about the, the experience. Uh, now, the Nutrition Roundtable began bestowing the Healthy Cup six years ago, uh, choosing as its first honoree Lee Ayakoka for uh, his efforts to find a, a cure for diabetes. In 2008, we gave the cup uh, to Ken Cooper, the father of aerobics and a doctor who I proud to say is an alumnus of the Harvard School of Public Health. And two years ago, we presented the healthy cup to Senator Tom Harking of Iowa for putting wellness and health on the American agenda and into the Affordable Care Act. And now uh, presenting this year's healthy cup will be our own Dr. Walter Willett, Chair of the Department of Nutrition and Frederick John Stair, Professor, Professor of Epidemiology and Nutrition. In the last two decades, Walter has published more than 1,500 papers. But this is uh, just a small sign of, <laughs> let me tell you, the real statistic. <clears throat> he, he, has been cited, he has been cited in scientific journals more than 135,000 times. Uh, so, you know. <laughs> That makes him, uh, I think, the most cited uh, author in the, in the health uh, sciences anywhere in the world. So uh, this is just a measure of his huge, vast influence. But this is um, uh, only equaled by his passion for understanding and overcoming the cause of um, obesity and all the related illnesses like diabetes, cancer, and diabetes. And, and as you know, um, research by Walter and his colleagues here at the school and elsewhere has uh, shown that as much as 90% of diabetes, 75% of heart disease, and similarly high proportions of other diseases can be prevented with uh, lifestyle changes uh, in diet, exercise, and smoking. So the research that he and his colleagues um, do lead, led, among other things, to the labeling of trans fat content in all products on your grocer's shelves and the banning of trans fats in many restaurants. Uh, Walter is also well known for proving and publicizing the benefits of healthy fats. And along with other members of our faculty, he helped spark the nationwide move to reduce consumption of uh, sugar-sweetened beverages. 
Uh, Walter received his MD degree from the University of Michigan Medical School and his doctorate in epidemiology right here at the Department of Epidemiology at the Harvard School of Public Health. So please welcome Walter Willett. Thank you very much, uh, Dean Frank. I'm pleased to be here this afternoon to present the Healthy Cup Award to Jamie Oliver, a chef, restaurant owner, cookbook author, television personality, and uh, very importantly, activist working for better school food and food education in America and abroad, and really more recently around the world. Uh, Jamie began uh, first cooking in the kitchen of his parents' restaurant in Essex, England as a teenager. He left school at 16 to train as a chef, and he was only in his early 20s when he was offered his first television, sh television cooking show, The Naked Chef, which <laughs> became a big hit. Yeah. And, you know, I, I never saw that show, but, uh, it's, uh, but, but, <laughs> but it's sort of interesting to note that right here in Massachusetts, we, had a, we have a senator who got his start in his career going uh, naked for, uh, I guess, <laughs> Playgirls magazine or something like that. Uh, um, uh, since then, he's produced uh, many more TV shows, started numerous restaurants, and created programs that train young people to become chefs. In 2004, Jamie started a campaign for better school meals in the UK, leading Downing Street to pledge an extra $280 million, or pounds even better, to improve the uh, nutrition of uh, British school children. Five years later, he launched his first major series in America called Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution, which continued his battle against childhood obesity. In 2010 and 2011, he brought camera crews into schools in Huntington, West Virginia, and Los Angeles while he took on the daunting task of transforming the school meals including, by the way, successfully pushing the LA school system to ban the sale of flavored milk, which was quite an accomplishment. Uh, Jamie has appeared on Oprah, David Letterman, and Nightline, and he received the TED Prize in 2010 for his dedication to fighting childhood obesity. Uh, the importance of fighting this epidemic, especially among children, cannot be overstated. As I think everyone knows, we're already seeing parts of the American population where life expectancy for the first time is actually declining. And uh, Jamie is really making an impact. Uh, just three days ago on Saturday, his foundation launched Food Revolution Day for the first time. Uh, and this was a global event uh, designed to bring together international uh, chefs, parents, educators, companies, activists, and celebrities to empower people with the knowledge and tools to make healthier dietary choices. Uh, these uh, activists uh, carried out more than 600 events in 400 cities in 45 countries. Uh, pretty impressive for the first, uh, first year this was done. Uh, and I, I was hearing from Jamie and Sierra Leone, uh, chefs planned uh, and actually did teach children how to cook from scratch. At a farmer's market swap in Boulder, Colorado, People were invited to trade in their junk food for fresh produce. And in Alaska, organic farmers encouraged uh, visitors to tour their farms there. So this was a really tremendous first event. 